people. I'm just uh, talking to you from my bed. And I'm talking to you in a very nasally voice because, well, I, uh, I wear a CPAP mask to bed every night. Um, and it's not the most comfortable thing. But uh, it was about, oh, I don't know, five years ago, I found out that I had obstructive sleep apnea. So now I have to use this CPAP mask, which is an interesting contraption, eh? Kind of looks like I'm in the hospital. So this is the hose. I've got it set up to uh, just kind of hang off of the wall there. And this is the actual CPAP machine. So this, um, the CPAP machine, it forces air into my, into my airways or my lungs through two uh, nasal pillows. And the nasal pillows are right here. There's some air that comes out the uh, front there. Yeah. It's hard to talk with the mask on, but I'm going to do it for you because, well, I, uh, about the same time that I found out that I had obstructive sleep apnea, I found out I had diabetes as well. And so the, the sleep apnea really affects the diabetes because, um, you know, you don't get enough oxygen into your blood during the night. And the reason I, uh, I'm making this video <coughs> is I'm kind of wondering if anybody else out there has, has a problem with sleeping. And if you've ever noticed that you'll wake up and you're choking, and you, f uh, you feel like you're going to die, um, you probably have some sort of issue with your breathing at night. Um, what prompted me to go to the doctor originally was uh, I woke up one night choking. I immediately got out of bed. <sighs> Excuse me. And then I puked on the floor a little bit. Too much information, I know, but I uh, I think it's important for people to hear something firsthand from someone who is now, you know, stuck living with this. You know, years of cigarette smoking doesn't help either, and that's part of my problem. And I, I can't remember exactly if the diabetes is also responsible for the obstructive sleep apnea, but maybe that's just the way I'm built. So, yeah, if you if you ever um, if you ever find yourself falling asleep during the day at work at your desk and. Uh, you don't know why. It may be because you are not getting enough sleep. And I, for years I denied. I denied that I, that I snored. But my, my partner, she would always tell me that <coughs> I, I would stop breathing in the night. And that's what happens with, with sleep apnea is you, you, you stop breathing, basically, and, uh, and yeah, uh, I've heard of people who, who have died, actually, in their sleep, because they basically choked to death. So, if people tell you that you're a heavy snorer, just for your general welfare and, uh, I don't know, if you have a family that loves you, it'd probably be a good idea to go to a place like uh, any sort of CPAP supplier. Uh, I ended up going to MedPro. 
But there's lots of different places out there. And they will, they'll test you. Um, but the cost of this machine, and I'm lucky because I have uh, the extended medical benefits through my employer. I mean, just this mask. It's not made up of much. I mean, this is this is how long it is. This is the whole mask. You, you see on the head? Uh, I have a... It's uh, basically just plastic. But this mask costs $250 at a CPAP supplier. And uh, luckily I got most of that reimbursed. But a lot of people wouldn't. And the CPAP machine itself... That thing runs about $1,300, depending on the severeness of your of your sleep apnea. Um, some machines could go for $2,000, $3,000. I've seen some machines, uh, because I work for a medical, uh, sort of medical business, uh, I've seen them go for about, some machines will go for about $6,000. And those are the really good ones. Uh, those are called BiPAPs. So, <clears throat> I was just laying here and I couldn't sleep. For numerous reasons. And, uh... I just thought... People out there, maybe someone might think this is interesting and say, Hey, I, I've woken up puking in my mouth before. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I hope you have a great night and you're not choking to death.